Hello everyone, welcome to Venus in the ninth house of your chart. This video is good for you if Venus is placed nine houses away from your ascendant or indeed from your moon sign. It's also good for a western chart, just make sure you have equal house or sign for a house system. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub below and let's begin. And what then is the ninth house in your chart? The ninth house is a house of Dharma, righteousness and of course religion. It's a house where we gain instruction into how to live our life according to righteous actions. Therefore we are taught by gurus, teachers and indeed father. This is a house of father as he is teacher and guide and mentor to us. We actually get our religion, our religious system from our father's line according to the Vedic understanding. Ninth house also represents higher education, higher learning, university and from that level onwards. It shows us where we seek for truth and wisdom in life. Therefore, the ninth house takes us into foreign lands, far from our place of birth and it also represents pilgrimage also. And who then is Venus? Venus is known as Sukra in the Vedic system. He is a demigod empowered to bring to us all the enjoyments and luxuries of life. He represents therefore clothes, ornaments, the arts in general, beauty and entertainment. He brings us together with others for deep intimate relationships. His primary purpose though is actually reproduction and he represents childbirth as well as semen. He actually represents every single bond we have with other living entities but specifically he is about women in our life and in a male chart he represents the wife. Venus placed in the ninth house of your chart is a favourable position because Venus is in a trine house. But on the other hand, there are some difficulties because this is a house of Dharma, righteousness, religion, and Venus is the actual planet of material enjoyment. Not exactly always harmonious with Jupiter, who is a natural codica for this house. So check carefully the sign of Venus. The more harmonious Venus is by sign, the less trouble most likely you will get from this position. Check the link below to Venus Karma's all sign and I will also link at the end of the video. First thing about Venus in the ninth house, it pulls you towards a higher learning. It pulls you towards a higher wisdom of life. You're not happy with mundane reality. Venus in this house must have an ideal to which you are working in life. Very often the ideal will be a philosophy, a religion itself, a dharmic path to which you will show great devotion. Venus shows the emotions and so any religious path you follow, you follow with your heart. This is the actual position for Bhakti Yoga, the yoga of devotion. So you are often very religious or philosophical and you give your heart and soul to this philosophy. But the thing about Venus is it is very much to do with the material pleasures in life. So if you really think about it, you get a great deal of pleasure from the actual rituals, if you like, of any religious system. If you go to church, a mosque, a temple, synagogue, wherever you go, you like the sense gratification almost that you get from the religious experience. The, the scent of the incense, the songs, the hymns, the sounds around you, seeing the deities, all of these, the sensual factors please you and give you a feeling of security. Now, not everybody with Venus in the ninth house is going to be religious. It might be a philosophy system or an even humanitarian system of belief. It could even be political. But whatever it is, it moves you heart and soul to give yourself to because it joins you with other people. What you need, Venus, is about bringing people together, don't forget, is to feel connected to other people through some higher ideal. Now, ninth house rules higher education and Venus is not particularly an academic planet, but a planet that gets joy out of whatever they do. So you get joy out of higher education, out of learning, but you learn best in a group, in a team. You learn best when you learn with others. Venus here gives you pleasure and happiness learning, particularly from your teachers, tutors, mentors, university professors, you get help and support and also from your fellow students. 
This is the house of father as well, so you can get help and even financial benefits from your father sometimes. You often are very much attracted to your father's system of belief. It's something which you want to continue on with. When there is afflictions to Venus though, there can be conflicts with your father over religious systems. The ninth house of course rules foreign lands and foreign cultures. Venus gives you a love of foreign lands. You want to travel. You want to meet people from different walks of life. Venus will attract you to foreign cultures continually. You almost like people who are exotic, different to your upbringing. So very often, particularly in a male chart, you will marry a partner from foreign lands or meet a partner in foreign lands. You can meet the wife in this way. In a male chart again, Venus here can attract you to somebody who you meet in a religious setting or even in an institution of higher education. And the same goes for everybody to some extent, whether male or female. You meet potential romance and partners when you are traveling, particularly far away to foreign lands, when you are in higher education or in any religious setting whatsoever. The seventh aspect of Venus is on the third house, the third house of communication, but also ego disputes. So Venus aspecting this house gives you a very optimistic and even charismatic way of speaking. You're very attractive to people by the way you communicate. At the same time, when there are malefics involved, Mars, Rahu, Ketu in any of these houses, ninth or third, or even aspecting, you can get yourself into some difficult quarrels. You tend to quarrel also about philosophy, religion, and ethics. Your siblings may also be involved in these contentions. Without affliction though, Venus aspect on the third house can show help coming to you financially from your siblings or you give financial help to them and it actually can create harmony between you. But Venus aspecting here will give you a most restless nature. You love to travel, you love to be on the move and nothing more than to be in company when you are on the move. You love to move around to meet new people, to expand your social circle. Another factor about this opposition aspect is that it can give a wandering eye in matters of romance. You see, Venus in the ninth house gives you high ideals in love and in romance. But when there is affliction from Mars, Rahu, Ketu particularly, you can expect that you have such high ideals that nobody seems to live up to them. So you're always looking for someone who perhaps will do so. And this gives you this wandering eye, this restlessness in love and romance. The most important factor for you though is to remember that to be happy with any spouse, any relationship, they must share your ideals, share your philosophy, share your beliefs, or the quarrels that you can get yourself into can also be with your spouse. So find a partner who shares your high ideals and belief system and that will help enormously. On your screen right now, Venus in all signs. Check out the karmas of your Venus sign position. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. Goodbye for now and God bless everyone.